Hey friends, Russ here again with Daisy Lever Gun Fun, and I just wanted to do a quick video while uh, while the wife's not home. I laid a few guns out on the kitchen table so that I can show you some of the similarities and some of the perplexities, perhaps, of a model one two o one. The uh, twelve o one model was made for Montgomery Ward to sell. They're made by Daisy, and to tell you the truth, um, this is one of my favorite off-brand uh, off Daisies that were made. Let me show you something here. This is one I picked up just the other day. This was given to me by a fellow who said it had absolutely no value to him whatsoever. But I looked at this, and I thought, wow, that's really something. You can see that this model has the uh, star motif over here under the caulking lever. This is the original color that Daisy used, this gold paint. It's in pretty nice shape. The stock is not warped. Plastic stock. It's got all the screws. This nut is not uh, original Daisy, but uh, you can't ask for everything. This one has the pre-punched holes Daisy put in a lot of theirs so that you could put the um, 303 scope mount on the side. This one here has not been abused very much. If you look at the rear sight, the adjusting screw is even still in there. And it still has the gold paint on it. This is the original um, shot tube with the bottle cap and the lightning loader, which is typical for this model. And the reason I know this is original, I took it out and it has the same exact color paint all the way down the shaft on the inside, right down to where the BB retainer is. Whoops. There you go. One of the things I like about this, so often we find that these forearms are in the shape of a, a curve because of the warping that happened to the plastics that Daisy used early on. This one is straight as an arrow. And that really impressed me about it. Something else that is unique, they did have the forearm bands on these but if you if you ever noticed how they made the forearm band they started with a piece of strap metal they went around in the shape of it they overlapped it on the side and put a spot weld this is the way it was done for a lot of the uh, five ace wide ones like in the uh, older daisies and the ones that are half inch wide nowadays but not this one this one has the overlap on the bottom you can see that there and I thought that was kind of unique also. And it does say it's a daisy, and it's real clear here. Another thing about this one that impressed me is the roll stamping on the top. I don't know if you can see it too good on the camera lens here, but it's, it's deep enough where you can see just about everything on here. It has the uh, registration number. It says model 1201. Um, Rogers, Arkansas, the patent number, it's, it's all there. So some of these were made real well, some weren't. Here's one that had a hard life. I got a hold of this and I can't even remember where. I'm not even sure this is the right stock because I don't know if the 1201s from Rogers used this fake hammer on them. I know you find this on some of the uh, Model 94 Red Riders. And uh, a couple of the other um, pop guns had those. Um, it's not something that uh, that I'm real familiar with. So I'm, I don't know if this is the right stock on here. I know the forearm's missing on this one. And, but I do know it's a 1201 because you can read it very plainly on the top of this one also. There is a lot of rust on this one, as there is some rust on that other one I showed you. Um, the adjusting, the elevation screw is missing out of the rear sight. That happens quite a bit. Because there's no forearm, there is also no forearm band. It does, however, have a very nice and what I believe original shot tube on here. And the tang on the front to cover the uh, lightning loader so the BBs don't roll back out. So this one needs some loving. This one needs some work done to it. And uh, I've been hanging on to that for a while, just trying to decide exactly how far I'm going to go with it. 
This is one that was in real bad shape. But what I liked about it is the light colored matching plastic of the stock and forearm. I thought that was kind of unique. I really hadn't seen too many with this color of plastics, and I know they did use them on some of the guns. Again, that four-star motif that's in here, this one was in bad shape. I had to replace things like the caulking lever. Um, it does have the adjusting screw on the rear sight for elevation. I cleaned this one all out. It's a shooter. It does, uh, it does spit the BBs. And what I can say about it is this is not the original Daisy color. This is a color that I put on here because I had it available. But to tell you the truth, you can't consider this gun as being restored because the color is not the same. And I don't have the original band for the forearm on there. So it's repaired and it's serviceable. And it's in a heck of a lot better shape than it was whenever I first got it. And you see you got the holes here for the plugs to be able to put a scope on it. But this gun was in such bad condition and so rusty. Right now, you can hardly see any of the roll stamping in here. And that's because so much rust was on here. By the time I took it all off, too much of the metal had been removed. And with a very light roll stamping, the rust just ate it away. By the time I got this gun back into a place where I could actually do the work on it, a lot of that had been worn off. And it's a shame, but that's the way it is. So, there you have three examples of the, um, of the Daisy Made Model 1201. And they made those for retailers other than the uh, normal hardware stores and things that Daisy would make things for. So, if you have any uh, experience with some of these um, Western Auto guns or... Any others? I know Sears um, had a lot of guns made by Daisy, and Daisy was just all over the place. We'd like to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up. Um, if you hit the, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, and uh, give me an idea of what's going on and how much you have had to put into uh, some of these guns. And if you have any questions about getting them back in service, let me know. There it is, folks. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.